Meowdy, and welcome to the City of Electric Sheep. It me, the sheep. Uh, we're gonna do some Spider-Man stuff. So I've got something planned, but the thing was supposed to already be here, so I'm not gonna go too much into it. But the one one thing I made a while ago, you may or may not be able to see it, right there. Two things we're making this week. If everything goes according to plan, the next thing will be our project for the next week, maybe and then some. So, excitement abounds. I can't wait. Today, however, regardless of grander plans, we are building Spider-Man Ghost Rider Team Up. So this is actually a bit of an older set. Um, and it was a little bit pricier than it should have been. It wasn't like crazy expensive or anything like that. But um, my very, very favorite Spider-Man villain, and, and not from, from the comics, unfortunately, but is the Hobgoblin. And this is the only set that features the Hobgoblin. And the two sets that we're doing this week are both Ghost Rider sets too. Like we're doing two Ghost Rider sets, the only two that Ghost Rider's in. So that's kind of cool too. They both happen to also be Spider-Man. So without further ado, I actually switched it up. We no longer have the blade. We now have scissors. So for, for this part, it's, you know, basically still just a blade. <laughs> but for the bags... It'll be different. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, so we'll... Eh, that'll go away. So we've got... Oh, like a little mini comic. That's cool. Spider-Man. And Ghost Rider. Taking on the Hobgoblin. Oh, we've also got Doc Ock and... Um... The Vulture, Green Goblin, cool, pretty neat. <laughs> Yo, Meowdy Scorpion, and welcome <coughs> to the City of Electric Sheep. Oh, you would like me to read it to you. Okay. Whoosh. V -v -v room Shrakoom. Thwap. Mm -mm. Tap, tap, click, crash, flash, swoop, sploosh, thwap, clank, crack, curse splash, thwip, whoosh, smash, question mark, boom, sproing. <laughs> Oh, and here at the back, it actually gives us where all the things come from. So we got the Green Goblin, Scorpion, Craven up in there. Got Captain Stacy, Doc Ock, White Tiger. We got Vulture, Gobby, and Ghost Rider. So we today... Oh. Are... We're going to be building Gobby, Hobgoblin, and Ghost Rider. Yo, Meowdy Stallone! <laughs> that was the best bedtime story ever. Yes, or story time. Not bedtime story, story time. We also, of course, are opening Spider-Man. So, we've got our paper instructions right here. We'll be shelving those because we're using the digital one. In the bottom right, so right below me. Still, we've got that thing. And we've got two bags. This is bag number two. And this is bag number one. Oh! <laughs> so, okay, we already did step one. We poured the stuff out. We did that thing thing was done by us. 
Step two. Well, it, it missed a step. So step two is cutting open the bag. Oh, I thought that I did welcome you, Stallone. If I did not, then I will say officially, welcome to the city of electric sheep. You know me, it is uh, lunchtime, which is in between my ADHD meds. So the first one kicks up and then the second one uh, just got taken, but hasn't, hasn't really kicked in quite yet. So that is my excuse. I mean, it's also straight up reason, but <laughs> I think things have happened and then they just haven't. This is the long and short of it. <laughs> not gonna lie. I think I've done something and then it's like, nope, you have not. Let's go. Okay. So one, bag number one is going to be the um, little thing as well as, let's go, Rick and Nick. Thank you so much for that raid and welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. Agwer, thank you for the follow. And Brick and Nick too. Let's go, y'all. I I don't know what I did de deserve this. Thank you so much. Holy moly! For for those of you who don't know me yet, I am Electric Sheep City. I uh, stream Lego. Huh? We're starting in on our Lego at lunch with this uh, little buddy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and. Oh, we're building us some Spider's Man stuff. Some Yowdy. Nick, what were you building today, friend? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I'm always ridiculous. <laughs> and welcome these cheeser, Inzane, Brick and Nick, Andrew Ampharos, a fellow sheep friend, Froz Nozzle, Josh Mosh. And Ashley, Jackie Boger. If I mispronounced any of your names, I apologize and please let me know. So welcome to the city of electric sheep. Yeah, getting in on some Lego fun. I'm so excited. I So for a while I was streaming a lot of like Hearthstone and um, whatchamacallums. Uh, sea of Thieves, and those are fun. Those are really, really fun. But it's just like, what is something that I don't get to engage with as much <laughs> that I wish that I could? And the answer was Lego. This is not how this is going to stay. In hats. <laughs> but it made me smile. <laughs> and Nick was building the upcoming Venom head sculpture. Oh, I can't wait to pick that up. And the Spidey and Doc Ock mech. Oh, so cool. I think that mech looks amazing. Not gonna lie. I have been considering picking that one up. I'm definitely, so I back ordered the, um, whatchamacallums. That's helpful. <laughs> Back ordered the uh, Carnage, and I'm definitely picking up that um, doo -doo -doo -doo. that Venom whenever that comes available. I can not wait. So excited for those. Let's go. Let's zoom on in a tiny bit. Yeah. And we get to make us a Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does the things that a spider can. So awesome. Everything is awesome. Do, do, do. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. <laughs> the whip. The whip. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, you built the, the other Ghost Rider. Let's go. 
I'm so excited. I get to build the other Ghost Rider um, on Friday. So I'm doing the uh, first Ghost Rider set today with these buddies. And then the other one on Friday. It's a Ghost Rider week. Let's go. <laughs> That's a perfect week for it. I don't, I don't know why that is, but but it is. <laughs> oh. And Elmo, thank you very much for the lurk. Yeah, so um, for a while I was doing it almost every single day and I'm hoping to get back into a Lego at lunch routine, looking at probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So um, for a while I was doing it straight up every single day and um, with the way that my, my uh, work works, that was not sustainable. But three days a week, yeah, that will be. Ooh, which writer is my favorite? So I haven't built them both yet, but I will say from looking at the pictures online, from looking at the pictures online, the um, uh, Ghost Rider from this set, I actually prefer a little bit, a little bit. Um, now, if we're talking in like the comics and stuff like that, then I think, I think actually that uh, Robbie Reyes is my favorite favorite ghost writer personally but however much this is kind of a ghost writer themed week oh if we're talking comics though cosmic ghost writer uh, like i've not actually read any of those um like arcs but holy moly that whole like aesthetic and oh and hats thank you that whole like uh, aesthetic and everything like that, just, oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> you have a thing for the charger? Nice. The charger looks so cool. I'm stoked to be be building the, um, the charger itself on Friday. I think that's probably what, what it is that kind of calls me to Robbie as well. But the Cosmic Ghost Rider, though, looks so cool. <laughs> Thanks so much for the positive vibes, Nick, and for the raid. And I hope that you enjoy your lunch. And welcome to the city of electric sheep. Have a great lunch, friend. Let's go. Oh, Lego does need to make a Tesla. <laughs> well, uh, that could be a, a very uh, lucrative partnership. Yeah. Oh, so uh, for those unaware of ButtSpot, ButtSpot is a bot that typically adds the word but to different things. But you can program it. You can program it, huh? to where it says whatever you want it to say. So my butt spot says, bah. So it just throws bah <laughs> into different different uh, scenarios, different different things that other people have said. So if you think that butt spot is, is trying to uh, make fun of you, it's not. It's just a happy little friendly bot saying bah. <laughs> saying bah. That is all it's trying to do. Say hey. And if you don't want uh, butt spot to uh, bahify your words, just type exclamation mark. I think it's ignore. It might be ignore me. Oh, fail. <laughs> but since he's not actually saying but, it's much less um, charged, I guess is a good way to put that. Yeah. So my very favorite Spider-Man villain. I, I was saying this right before y'all came in with the raid, but the Hobgoblin is my favorite Spider-Man villain. Not really from the comics. Comics, um... I loved the mystery around the Hobgoblin in the comics. The mystery behind the Hobgoblin was always awesome. The reality 
like, like the whenever they revealed it and everything like that, they they kind of fumbled it. Now, in the animated series, that is where the hobgoblin really, really shines. So, um, in uh, the animated series, the hobgoblin is voiced by none other than Mark Hamill. And that is probably, like, I, he was my favorite Spider-Man villain before I was aware of that fact. And I think that it may have been, like, something about either, like, the, the timbre of his voice or, you know, something like that. But I just, oh, always knew the, that the Hobgoblin was my favorite Spider-Man villain. So I knew that I had to pick up this buddy. And now we've got, and it hasn't had us put it on here yet, but we've got, oh no! Don't articulate! Gobby, no! There we go. <laughs> I love that face. So it's one of the oh, double-faced ones. And the other side looks all like angry and such. But this side just looks so maniacal. No, enhance so maniacal that it's like, nah, we have to go for that one. <laughs> so yeah, that from the animated series in particular is why the Hobgoblin is my favorite of the Spidey villains. And in fact, we can toss. Oh, yeah, the Kingpin is another great choice, both from you know, the original comics and the animated series and the um, ba -ba -ba -ba, uh, Netflix's Daredevil. Pretty much, uh, oh my gosh, he's also awesome in the PS4 Spider-Man. Represent? <laughs> that, like, anything that I've ever seen the Kingpin in, I'm just like, you're, you're just pure... Not like evil, evil, but like mob, like greed, evil. It's just, oh, fantastic choice. <laughs> fantastic choice. I always find it a little odd when they're like, okay, put it down there and then boop it on top. I understand that that's the best way to do it, though, to uh, portray that but it always feels a little weird. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, Vincent. Uh, and I always have read his name, and only now that I'm about to speak it, I'm like, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Uh, De Orfano? <laughs> it, like, plays that character amazingly. O-M-G. I uh, love it. Like, the, the way that... You see exactly where he's coming from, and it doesn't make you like him, but like you understand him. It just oh, I I got chills just thinking about it. Oh my god, yo, Roy Terp, thank you so much for the follow, friend, and welcome to the city of electric sheep, wifey, meowdy friend, and welcome yourself. To the city of electric sheep. Welcome, comma, space yourself. Not, hey, you, welcome yourself. <laughs> Good to see you, wifey. <laughs> ha ha ball. I love the ha ha ball. I think that is my favorite of the ha ha holiday. Um, like, emote things. <laughs> I think that's my favorite one. Because it's just so like, ah? Uh? <laughs> you, welcome yourself to the channel. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'm uh, very upfront about um, the uh, my uh, ADHD, uh, my neurotypical disorder. Um, and lunch in particular is in between when the uh, doses are effective. It's not a bad thing. It's not a negative thing. It's not a positive thing. It's just how things are. So if I ever seem to kind of be bouncing in between 
things. That's it. <laughs> now you know. Ooh, and we got a sticker. I hate stickers, but I understand the necessity for the stickers. But I dislike them as an institution. There we go. Oh. Got him. So, uh, oh, I also said this uh, before our buddy Nick rated into us. Um, but I, so I've got um, the little, if I can <laughs> orient correctly, um, Sanctum Santorum behind me. We're making this buddy right here. Uh, this is actually one of the main, like, whatchamacallums, like, kind of features of this that I'm actually building this for, um, which is counterintuitive, but we've got this bud. Oh, forgot the sticker. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we're building this buddy. We're building that. We're going to have, like, a whole little, like, Marvel New York little tableau like right behind i'm super excited especially because the sanctum uh if you haven't built it so the sanctum bit that you see like right there is a sanctum but the other side of it is actually peter parker's apartment so that that's pretty cool um and will fit in really nicely with everything else that we have planned for the coming couple weeks let's go oh you just Got FedEx delivery, nice. New road plates, some train tracks, and the VIP space coin. You really buried the lead there for effect. And I appreciate it. I, I respect it. <laughs> I respect it. I, I, I don't have the, the space coin myself, unfortunately. But holy moly, that's awesome. I So I love the space line. But like, you know, I'm not paying for all, all this out of my pocket, which most of us are. And so I'm just like, eh, I gotta prioritize which um, ones I'm kind of going for, uh, going forward with. And unfortunately, that means that I haven't been buying the space stuff. That said, I love watching people make the space things. So I, I am actively in or lurking in so many people's uh, channels watching the space, <laughs> space sets being made. They're so cool. So I'm doing this by putting it in first, which isn't what it tells us to do. <laughs> Breaking the rules. A rebel, rebel. <laughs> oh, I, have they announced a daily bugle? I, I know that the last time I was on Brickset, um, there were a whole lot of uh, things in the Spider-Man, like, line that just had, like, blank things next to it. Like, oh, something Spider-Man-y is coming, but we don't know it yet. We don't, you know, they haven't announced what it is yet. So holy moly, if they're making the da Daily Bugle, I'm, I'm excited. I'm so excited. That's got to have like J. Jonah Jameson, Betty Brandt, uh, Robbie Robertson. That's going to be awesome. Not announced, but there's heavy proof. <sighs> Calm down, cheap. It'll be okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so not, not officially confirmed. Heavily rumored. I am buying into the hype. I had not even heard the rumors yet, but holy moly. I am buying into them now. Who will the villain be? If I had to guess, maybe Scorpion? Um, because the Daily Bugle features so heavily in the Scorpion's, um, uh, like, so, it's kind of some Spider-Man uh, history. The Scorpion got his powers um, because J. Jonah Jameson was like, hey, you know, there's this menace. And, uh, um, 
you know, we, we, we need to take care of him. And that, that menace is a Spider-Man. And, and so he's got uh, Gargan. I d so in the animated series, Gargan is one of his like reporters, but I don't think that's how it is in the comics. Let, let me know if you can recall. Um, but so uh, Gargan is, is there and he's like, you're, you're, you're gonna, you know, basically turns him into the, the scorpion, uh, uh, gives him his power. I mean, you know, invests in ways to give them, uh, give him scorpion powers and gets him the suit and whole nine, nine yards, right? Um, <laughs> so, oh, we've already seen figs. 14 or more mini figs. Holy moly, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a big one. That is gonna be a big set. I was, like, y'all saw how excited I was before seeing that it's going to have 14 or more minifigs. What? I'm so excited. So one of the, there's like the Web Warriors one that already has the scorpion, which is the only thing keeping me from thinking that it definitively is the scorpion. So it might not be. It might not be you, Doctor. It might not be you, Doctor Scorpion. <laughs> but it might be. <laughs> so I'm thinking this is number four. Okay. So there are two of them right there that are very similar. Three and four. I actually can only spot tiny differences. Oh, Punisher and Daredevil are both going to be in it. What? That is hype. That is hype. Oh my gosh. I, I'm right after I finish my lunch break. That is something that I'm going to be looking up. Not going to lie. <laughs> Yo, Scorpion, have a great rest of my lunch break, friend. You stay electric. Scorpion City. <laughs> Holy moly. I am super excited for that now. I I did not even know this was a thing, and now I'm already thinking about how my tableau? Tableau is not the right word. Um, almost. How my display is going to kind of change to incorporate that. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. That's going to be epic. 14 mini figs. <laughs> wow. Sticker, sticker, sticker. Not a fan of stickers. I understand the necessity, but I don't like them. <laughs> I understand why we need them. But I'm not a fan. There we go. And those and that one. Boop. Ah, now we get a <laughs> trash can. I love how it has trash can and put a bone and a sprig into it. Take out the trash. Boop. There we go. And that whole thing goes right there. Oh. And now, of course, we get to make... I already put this into Goblin's hands. Not taking it out of his hands. <laughs> Maniacal laughter. <laughs> and boop those into here. That's just for general playability and displayability. And these are our extras. That brings us to bag number two. Bag number two. Of course, we have our handy dandy scissors. 
Open that buddy up. Hop, hop, hop. And... <laughs> it looks like the uh whenever there's like that cartoony car crash and then uh um wheel will just kind of roll around that's kind of what it looked like when it came out <laughs> all right We got Ghost Rider and a whip. Obligatory Ghost Ride the Whip uh, joke. That's right, saying obligatory X joke is now a joke in and of itself. Ooh, so I thought, no lies, that this was basically hair. Enhance. But it's actually not like a hair piece that clips onto it. It's molded onto the head itself which like I'm never gonna really like take it apart anyway so for me that doesn't really make a lot of difference I mean not never but you know what I mean like Ghost Rider being Ghost Rider is one of the reasons why I got this set in general but for a lot of people who are doing like MOCs and stuff like that, having the uh, hair separate, oh, enhance, thank you, is probably a priority. So it doesn't make a huge difference for me, but there is a Disney CMF with that head hair mold and it's Hades, that makes sense. Oh, is, is Hades' uh, head hair mold um, blue? I guess he did. It's been way too long since I've seen Hercules. Way too long. Zoop. Okay. I think his is blue, would be blue. If I'm recalling Hercules correctly. Yeah, let's put the little wheel stuff kind of over there. Just so it's a little bit out of the way. There we go. Oh. Oh. oh, blue purple. That makes sense. I need to look into a lot more of the CMF stuff. Um, I will typically, so I've got, um, I like to complete set the Harry Potter things. Like the, the Harry Potter things are my big go-tos. Um, really big fan of those. The, um, I get the, uh, Marvel stuff that I kind of just, like, generally like, and I get the Star Wars stuff that I just kind of, like, generally like. Um, like, I've pre-ordered the, uh, Darth Vader bust, um, helmet set thing. <laughs> um... <laughs> Because, like, I'm really excited for that one. And, you know, like, I've got Boba Fett's ship above me there, too. Um, so the only times that I really, like, go out of my way for the CMF stuff is whenever they are actively, like, in whatever line it is that I'm, like, kind of complete setting or, or focusing on at that point. Which which right now is, is Harry Potter. Um, it was when I was a kid as well. Um, that was the, the big... Uh, like Lego kind of priority there as well um, so I am super excited for whenever we get like official announcements and stuff like that for those all to say oh did I put these on the right ones nope these ones go over there my bad so all to say that um, CMF stuff I absolutely love but sometimes I just don't see um, a lot of them kind of when they come out. Um, yeah, I did see the uh, Marvel Disney Disney Plus one that's rumored. That I'm really excited about. That'll definitely get uh, the complete set treatment. <laughs> um, 
So like the Looney Tunes ones that comes out that just recently came out look amazing. And I, I think that I really want to get the uh, Marvin the Martian one in particular. I don't know why, uh, because that wasn't like my all time favorite Looney Tune. But that CMF just looks so cool. It looks so cool. But I'm not not a big CMF uh, collector in general. Um, however much I think they look awesome. Because <laughs> they do. Got that, buddy. This is a little interesting how that's kind of coming together. Part of the, the chassis. Yeah, I see. So we got that into that. Cool. All right. Bam, bam. I bet that we're going to basically be doing the same thing that we're doing here on the flip side. But let's uh, find out. Oh, not quite yet. Because we are still doing the things over here. Let's go. Zoop. On to. Zoop. looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. And now we get to flip over and basically do the same thing. Yep. Got him. Okay. So we got those into that. Zoop that right there. And we start zooping these. I bet if I was a betting sheep, which I am not, <laughs> I'm very much not a betting sheep. <laughs> that is, for better or worse, not not a thing that I engage in. <laughs> Probably for the better. Let's be real. <laughs> Ah, okay. So now we get to put this away and do a mini build trademark. Mini build, we're doing a mini build. We're making something, and it is small. That's what we call a mini build. I don't know. <laughs> Do need oh oops I was thinking we needed four of those we do not oopsie poopsie pop that back off there we go so I was looking for two more of those and what we needed was a one by two plate since those are all the same thing it isn't filming very well <laughs> there we go that'll help that will help. Zoom that into that into where to go? There it is. Into that. So that whole thing looks like it is. The back of a chair, right there. Okay. And another mini build. Let's go. Let's go. Excitement abounds for a mini build. 
<laughs> okay, so with this nub going one way, the little um, chimacolums bits that hold whatever go the other side. Got them. Got them. Coach. Ka boom. Oh. All right. And that buddy right on there and flip it around. I don't actually know why we could not have done that from the other side. But okay. So it looks like it goes in flush with the top, it sticks out a tiny bit of the bottom. We'll do that on both. So flush with the top, sticking out a little bit of the bottom. And then whenever I'm looking at these, I'm always not exactly sure which way is supposed to be the slanted side and which way is supposed to be the not slanted side. Like I have a, um, an estimated guess, but sometimes whenever I'm looking at it afterwards, I'm like, my estimate was incorrect <laughs> and I have to have to fix it, have to remedy it, which is okay. Self-compassion is important. Self-compassion is important. That zoops right in there. I bet we will be... Ah, not yet at least. But I bet we will be dropping that at some point. Soon. TM. <laughs> so these have a little or an angling up. That's the big thing there. Is that that horn is angled up, oh, oh, up. There we go. Let's go. Or should I say, let go. <laughs> like our buddy Venga Dragon would say. Zoop that in there. Nailed it. Okay. So this has the raised bit next to that bit. Zoop it right in and connect it right there. And earlier, this was what I was trying to do with the, uh, the back of the other piece. Haha! -ha. We do, in fact, have that one go completely down and that go kind of angled. And then that whole thing goes into there and it looks like it goes back to like there. Let's go. This is starting to come together, not gonna lie. All right. Oh, wrong thing. It's not this piece, it's this piece. Oh yeah. And we connect it right into it. Oh. And we kind of put this sideways. Like that ish. And then it comes up, holding it there. And hits. Thank you. <laughs> I like to say enhance whenever that happens. And uh, at one point, someone was like, Is your focus voice activated? <laughs> and it's not, it just feels really cool to say. <laughs> Enhance! And then it, it does. <laughs> oh, and now we get... This looks like the big one. 
Yeah, because it actively has the recessed part. Yeah, it's the big one. And zoop these buddies. Make sure it's nice and flush. Perfect. Good. And that goes right on into Meow. Zoop. And then not one of these, because this is too big. Grab this one. And then one of the small little dudes to cap it off. Let's go. <laughs> the first time you heard your hands was in Blade Runner. Oh, funny story about Blade Runner. So uh, my name on Twitch is um, Electric Sheep City. You probably noticed. <laughs> Blade Runner is based on the book, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? So my username is actually basically a Blade Runner reference. <laughs> so it's funny that you mentioned Blade Runner in particular, because actively a Blade Runner reference. <laughs> That's great. Cool. That's an interesting way of doing that. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, by Philip K. Dick. Exactly. You know your literature. Get it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that whole like cyberpunky genre. Yeah, there we go. Big fan of that whole genre. Ooh, okay, so we're basically gonna have to do, looks like two of these. I kinda wanna just do two of them now. I'll wait. I will exercise restraint. For now. Yeah, oh my gosh, that movie is so good. So good. So not going to lie, these um, wheels, I always, oh, that time it actually went in pretty well. But I always feel like whenever I'm putting it in and then I have to like adjust it and fiddle with it until like right there actually lines up. But that one. That one went in like immediately. That was that was great. <laughs> that never happens. You're making me look good. Thank you. Thumbs up. <laughs> You're making me look good, Wheel. I appreciate it. <laughs> ah, and here it is, the other one. We basically are doing the same thing. Let's go. But one of them is going, whereas before, it went out to the left. This one's going out to the right, which makes sense. It's basically mirroring the other one. Those kind of going out like that. All right, and then we put in those buddies right into there. Let's go to the side. Being a rebel, I'm putting it on here first and then I'm putting these in. Rebel. Rebel. All right, and now it's really taking shape. It's pretty much, that's pretty much the 
thing. Obviously, we're going to be putting a lot of fire. We're going to be putting all of the fire. <laughs> yeah, fire. Let's go. These fire pieces are really, really well done, too. I'm a big fan of everything going on here. This is legit. Okay, so there you go. Kind of like that. I'm going to actually angle them in a bit. Yeah, going to angle them in a bit. It's not how it is on the instructions, but we're going rogue. Yo, three cheeser. Thank you for the follow and welcome <coughs> to the city of electric sheep. Ooh, so that actually collapses into there. There we go. I missed that part earlier. My bad. Makes a lot more sense for putting that in though. A lot more sense. All right, and rinse and repeat. Yeah. And we get four more. And that should be all the fires, actually. Cool. So these fires, and this is why it had us not doing it in before. So it has us doing it with those kind of in parallel. I'm going to have one side in parallel and one side not and see which way I like better. Because at the end of the day, that's what's fun about Lego is that you can build how you want to build. Okay. So this one is in parallel. That side. And this side is coming in. Yeah, I think I like it in parallel better. Cool. And that is why we check, though. Because <laughs> sometimes the way they do it is the way that we want to do it. Okay, so we're going to pull those actually out of the way a bit to jam these in. Oh, upside down. And these, however, go in because the front is more kind of like aerodynamic in. Yeah. And we get to throw Ghost Rider in there. Let's go. Yeah, he does it. Somehow. Question mark. <laughs> so they have him sitting, which is cool. And I like how it looks better with him sitting than it would with him standing. But the back uh, does need to be angled. That was the issue. So that it wasn't angled before. I see, I see. So now we will poke up from the bottom. Poke. There we go. There we go. Much better. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. So we've got us our Ghost Rider. We've got us our Hobgoblin. <laughs> Laughing maniacally. Throwing that that uh that bomb. Goblin bomb, that pumpkin bomb. And of course we've got the man, the spider, the spider-man. The whip. <laughs> 
thwip. <laughs> and of course, this, which will feature prominently soon. Trademark. Stay tuned. And you'll see exactly how that will develop. So thank you very much for joining me for my lunch break. We made this awesome set. I absolutely love it. Like, I I was expecting to really like the set, but I was not expecting the, um, whatchamacallums, the, uh, this glider in particular to come along quite as well as it did. Like, I'm really happy with the glider. It's one of my favorite Spider-Man characters. Everything about that just really makes me happy. So I'm really glad that we got, got to incorporate that and we'll get to incorporate it in our marvelous things going forward. So thank you very much for joining me for my lunch. Yeah, these popping colors look sweet. Check it. <laughs> so unfortunately, that is the end of my lunch. Until next time, you stay electric, Cheap City. <laughs>